Good morning, viewers. You are welcome to today being Sunday, 3rd September 2023. You are welcome to today's Daily Dynamite. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessings, uh, blessing of another day. Thank you for giving us life today, O oh God. May your name be highly exalted. O oh Lord, come and teach us in the language we will understand. Let your word be made manifest in us to the glory of your holy name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Today's topic says boldness. Boldness. And our text is taken from the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ as recorded by St. Luke chapter 11 from verse 1 to 13. Luke 11 1 to 13 and it says and it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place when he when he ceased one of his disciples said unto him lord teach us to pray as john also taught his disciples and he said unto them when ye pray say our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done, in, be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us, day, give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And he shall say unto them, Which of you shall have a friend, and shall go unto him at midnight, and say unto him, Friend, Lend me three loaves, for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me, and, is, and I have nothing to set before him. And he from within shall answer and say, Trouble me not, trouble me not. The door is now shut, and my children are with me in bed. I cannot rise and give thee. I say unto you, though he will not rise and give him, because... He is his friend, yet because of his importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needed. And I say unto you, ask, it shall be given to you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that seek, asketh, receiveth, and he that seeketh, Findeth, and to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, will you give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he shall ask an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children how much more shall your heavenly father give the holy spirit to them that ask him this is the word of the lord thanks be to god once again our topic says boldness boldness this is one of the things the children of god should possess boldness they should possess this virtue boldness you know the spirit we received as children of god is not the spirit of timidity it is the spirit of being bold as lion being bold boldness is the willingness to take risks and act inno innovatively confidently or courageously but today many youths are negatively negatively bold and this is very wrong to the extent that some girls will go about naked I don't know why it is always girls they will just go about naked the Bible says that they were built like a home like a house they should always know that their body is attractive. But instead of using it positively, they use it negatively. 
to achieve what I don't know. They go about in the name of fashion, naked. But this is not the kind of boldness that Christ taught his disciples. This is not the kind of boldness that Christ is teaching us, his people. Today, as, this, uh, as we are talking, girls are bold enough to go around the streets naked, all in the name of fashion. Many are committing all manner of sins with boldness. No regrets, no fear, no shame. They have no shame again, no fear. They have no regret about what they do. Because of the kind of boldness they have. That kind of boldness is not from the Lord. This is negative. This is not supposed to be. The kind of boldness we are talking about is the positive one. The one that will benefit both the kingdom of God and the person that has the boldness. The type of boldness Jesus taught his disciple is not this kind. It is the kind to be persistent in prayer. Just like our text said. To be persistent in prayer. Having confidence to ask God and humanity to teach us. Help us and answer us when we are in need. And having the assurance to receive when we ask. That is the kind of boldness that Christ taught us. Prayer is one of the channels to commune with God. And we should come to the throne of God, the throne of grace, with boldness. Not because we are righteous. But because Jesus has forgiven our sins. Come to the throne of grace with boldness. But not because you are righteous. No. But because Jesus has forgiven our sins. And grace has found us. Righteousness gives boldness before the, the God of all nations. But sin brings fear. Once a man is a sinner, the man cannot stand before the Almighty. That man cannot stand before the throne of grace. Because his mind will always tell him, you are a sinner. Are you sure God will accept you? My dear brother, but when a man is righteous, you know, trying hard to live a righteous life, that man will always stand before the, the throne of God, the throne of grace, with boldness. And this kind of person is the person that will always receive from the God of salvation. Righteousness exalts the nation. But sin is a reproach. Psalm 24 says something. The earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. The world and all that they dwelt therein. For he has founded it upon the sea. And has established it upon the floor. And he now asks a question. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? He that have a clean hands and a pure heart. The one that has not lifted up his soul unto vanity, unto vain things. Or sworn deceitfully. I see this person shall receive blessings from the Lord. And the righteousness from the God of our salvation. Before a man can stand in the holy place of God, his heart must be pure. He must be a man of clean hands. He must be a righteous man. Sin cannot stand before God. Therefore, a sinner cannot stand before the throne of grace. Sin brings fear, but righteousness brings boldness. Because you come to the throne, to your father, with boldness. Knowing that you have nothing wrong against yourself. No accuser. Nobody will accuse you before him. That is the work of boldness. So today, I encourage you, I encourage us to always live a righteous life. So that any time we stand in the throne of grace, any time we stand before the throne of the Almighty God, to ask anything in prayer, so that nothing will hinder us from getting our answers. Because anybody that asks must get. That is what the scripture says. When you ask, you shall receive. When you knock, the door shall be opened unto you. So, always be a righteous man. The story we were told here 
about somebody, a friend, asking a friend to lend something to him because another friend came in that night. You know, the Bible says, even if that person does not want to give him because he is his friend, he will give him because of his persistency and his boldness to ask. Not everybody has the boldness to ask. To ask anybody. So, your boldness counts. I, told, I tell you today, I urge you today, I plead with you, always live a righteous and sober life so that you will always stand before the throne of God unquestionable. Nobody will be there to question you. Be holy and you shall be bold to stand before the God, before God in the place of prayer with the confidence to re receive what you ask for. Food for thought. Persistence in prayer helps us recognize God's work. Persistence in prayer helps us to recognize God's work. I pray that God will help us as we meditate in his word to the glory of his name. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want you to pray this short prayer as we conclude. Dear Lord, increase my confidence and boldness in you. Ask the Lord to increase his confidence in you. His boldness in you. Round off your prayer. Almighty God, we thank you for today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for this topic that teaches us to live a righteous life so that we will come to the throne of grace. Bold. Help us, O oh Lord, to live a righteous and sober life. Help us to win the, 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 the works of the flesh, sin, and the works of the devil. May your name be highly exalted in our lives. We ask through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I hope you are blessed by the word. Join us tomorrow on the Daily Dynamite.